Hello everyone, welcome to 30 minutes learning. Today we are going to see how to integrate Google Map and solve with OpenUI 5. For this integration, you need Google Developer Key for accessing Google API. So I already um, generated Google API key based on one JavaScript file. So we are going to create a new project from template. Okay. So let's go into the BDE. I zoom a little bit. Okay. New project from template. Select that SAP UFA application. Click next. Project name Google Map. Namespace Dev. View one, and click next and finish. It takes a little, uh, little seconds. Okay, just takes extend the folder google map inside that web app you're going to create a new folder called library so shorthand lib okay then import the file or project and browse google map.js click ok Okay, once that project is imported, then we need to access in our project. So, first we declare inside the JavaScript, uh, inside the HTML. Dot lib slash Google map dot js okay then go to view here we're going to use HTML element so I'm going to declare that namespace SAP UA core so XMLMS core sap.ua.co then we can use that core namespace with html we're going to use that um, one event called after rendering I give it name for on render map it's a event name then next word property content here we can give our HTML code so actually um, a Google map give that a uh, good documentation how to integrate this Google map inside any uh, JavaScript related programs so here you see they inside the body they call the div tag and the id is a map so simply we're going to use this one inside content so this um less than greater than symbols not um, accepted here so we're going to use that um html entity i replace with entity it's less than simple first you need to put ambersion and lt and semicolon so copy put here and greater than instead of l make it as a g 
okay then double quotes ambarshan pot and semicolon replace this double quotes okay okay let's finish this one okay it's uh, uh, that's all uh, in that um, view we need to create one more function in that the controller.js file okay instead we need to use this uh, function So we already declared that ID development ID is a map. So that ID it's um, deploy everything. So we need to call this application. Actually, in this uh, script, they not call because um, while script running that time, they using that callback function to um, initiate the function. In our uh, web ID, we not going to use that callback function in the script. So that's why whenever our um, div is created dynamically, that time it will trigger automatically. Okay, um, it's everything finished. We check our program. We can change the IATN properties title. Okay, click run. Select the index.html file. Okay, one thing missing, I think. Um, that says it's style. It's important. Go to style. So map height hundred percent. And remove that shell then we get some extra spaces the spaces it's removed okay here we go it's um, working now that's all guys so we completed uh, integration thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel click that bell icon and uh, click that notification for my future video thank you bye